I'm Massimo Cristofanelli, professor of medicine and specialized in breast cancer treatment at the Fox Chase Cancer Center in Philadelphia. The paper that we're presenting at the next San Antonio Breast Conference deals with the molecular subtyping of disease of primary breast cancer and show how this has improved capability of uh, detecting prognosis and treatment appropriately uh, based on the subtype. Traditionally, breast cancer has been identified as a, a very complex disease. Initially, we just look under the microscope to identify cancer cells, uh, but uh, subsequently to that, we usually stain for the expression of some protein that allowed us to decide if patient can benefit from therapy that will reduce the amount of oestrogen in the body or some therapy that will also include uh, trastuzumab or herceptin. Uh, based on this specific staining, we have three, a classification of three different subtypes. Uh, uh, here positive, triple negative, air 2 positive disease. Now, but this is really not sufficient to uh, really uh, capture all the complexity of the disease. In reality, cancer cells have many more genes and many more proteins. So most recently, the diagnostic capability have improved and identified in reality we have at least five different subtypes. So the blueprint is one of such uh, diagnostic tests that allow to uh, identify primarily in the, in the early disease uh, which subtypes we are dealing with. And so this study deals with the, the comparison between the clinical classification and the molecular classification. So three different subtypes versus five different subtypes, and what are the implications for the treatment? So uh, in re this retrospective study, we identify a misclassification of approximately 25% of the cases. This is a large number of cases that could have been receiving appropriate therapy with endocrine therapy or androgen, uh, estrogen deprivation or air 2 targeted therapy. These are the most effective therapy used for breast cancer. And they did not receive this treatment, this patient, because of the clinical classification was not appropriately identified uh, their molecular uh, subtype. So we think that this is an important information needs to be provided to the oncologist, to the patient, in order to better decide and uh, to improve on the care uh, of breast cancer.